I don't think there's any Zeeks in here, but we're not at the point where we can take any chances. We gotta play this as safely as possible. We're gonna try. Oh shit! Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die on Alpha 21. I'm an old guy gaming, and we are gonna start a new series. This will be my first time playing Alpha 21. I did watch uh, some of the streamers and YouTubers over the weekend. And I'm very excited to start my own playthrough of this game. So let's go ahead and jump right on in. Uh, we are going to play uh, Total Vanilla here uh, for the first, you know, few times. We'll probably do mods later on in the in the season. Um, so let's see. We're going to go with OG A21. I'm going to try a 10K world this time instead of an AK world, um, just for something different. Um, we are going to set the difficulty to insane, and we're going to use 90 minute days. That's my typical settings for that. Uh, basic settings, we'll do seven day hordes, no range, blood moon, warning can be in the morning, that rhymes. Uh, we'll do 32 enemies because uh, 64 is a bit much for my machine. We're cranking everything up to nightmare, like we always do. Um, feral sense is on at night, making nighttime extremely dangerous. Advanced settings, um, we are going to turn loot respawn off. We're going to keep chunk reset time off, drop everything on drift, drop nothing on quit. Uh, quit. Uh, no airdrops disabled and yeah, so I think that's it. Both player studies don't matter for this single player game uh, So I will bring you guys back when this world is generated and we'll jump in and see how things are gonna go for us here in Alpha 21 looking forward to it Okay guys, we are ready to get started here. So uh, let's go ahead and do the the usual uh, starting quest stuff here I feel like my mouse sensitivity is just a little hot. So let's go to controls, uh, look sensitivity. Let's uh, yeah, let's try that. Twenty one. That's a little better. Okay, so yeah, um, I'm gonna I'm planning on trying out the spear this time. I know a lot of of the uh, streamers over the weekend also tried out the spear, but that's because. The spear has been improved uh, quite a bit in this game. It used to kind of not be all that great. Um, so I, I too want to try that for something different. If you guys watch me on a regular basis, you know that I typically favor the sledgehammer for my melee weapon. And that's not to say we won't still also use the sledgehammer. But uh, for now, uh, we're going to we're gonna try the spear out, and, you know, just to do something a little bit different. Okay, so let's go ahead and craft a bedroll. I am coming off of a very long series of Undead Legacy. Um, so it's going to uh, take me a little bit to get back into uh, the vanilla game again. Uh, let's go with the blue bedroll. And then we're going to pick that right back up because we might actually need this later on. Let's put the torch here. We'll put the that in there. Water's going to be a thing. I'm assuming probably most of you who are watching this have already you know, watched Alpha somebody else play Alpha 21. But I shouldn't assume that everybody will, so um, I'll try and explain things and talk about things as we come across them. Um, okay, so now we need to gather some small stone, and um, they actually introduced this little these little sprite thingies in Alpha 20, which is very useful to you know help you find what you need uh, to get started. Let's get this rotting trash going. Okay, we're gonna pick all that up. Uh, looting is a lot more important now in Alpha 21 especially in the early game. I mean, it's always been a big part of this game, but it's even more important now because we really we have to rely more upon looting to survive and, and get started here in the early game. Um, okay, so now it wants us to craft the stone axe. Let's do that next. They've changed the uh, perk system significantly to where now it's based a lot or, or reliant a lot upon finding and reading magazines. Uh, I am, the jury's out for me on on whether or not I like that. I, I think I like it better than the previous alphas where you just simply had perk points and you earn points and put them in stuff. Because um, it gives you a little more of, uh, you know, you have to make a little bit more of an effort. Or you have, well, I don't know if effort's the right word. You have to do something to earn those. That's something being looting and finding magazines. Uh, I still think I would prefer skills by action though and i think most other people that i've ever talked to or heard do as well but for whatever reason the fun pimps don't want to do it that way and it's their game so you know it is what it is uh but from what i've seen i do think that 
the magazine system is going to be a little bit better than just the straight up perk system that we had previously. So, you know, I, I might end up actually, you know, loving it or I might absolutely not like it so much. I won't really know until we get in and start playing for a little bit. I'm going to grab a little bit of iron here too because I know we're going to need it. Um, it wants us to do plant fiber pants. Let's go. Let's do that. But let's also craft all of the clothes just because we need them. And uh, looks like we need to also do the plant fiber shoes. If we can come up with four cloth thingies, we can also get the bandana. All right, let's wear these. Oh, did I make two things of, of britches? I did. Okay, we'll scrap these. Get a little bit of plant fiber back. Okay, it wants us to do a wooden club next. Let's craft that. Won't be using clubs. Uh, not planning to, anyways. Uh, like I said, the spear is probably going to end up being our main weapon. Our melee weapon, I should say. Uh, all right, so they wants us to gather feathers. Another new feature of Alpha 21 is when you loot a bird's nest or a container or a trash like that, it disappears. And, uh, I like that. I think I do like that. Be just because of the fact that um, then you don't come by it later and wonder, hmm, did I loot that or not? So... I think that's pretty useful. Let's grab a little bit of wood here. And uh, let's look for um, <clears throat> some more stone. Uh, I want to find a boulder, actually. Uh, I want to get a nice little pile of stone because we are going to need that, not only for crafting, but also to help us survive in the early part of the game here while we're playing on Insane Nightmare. For those of you who might be watching me for the first time, if you want to know why I play on Insane Nightmares, because it makes the game more interesting. Um, this game, I've been playing this game almost since it's been out for years. I got over 4,000 hours in it. And if I if I play this game on normal, it's fun at first, but it gets boring really quick. So by playing it on Insane, it's super hard in the, in the beginning, but it, it's just more rewarding. And even in the end game, it can still be very dangerous. So it just keeps me on my toes, keeps things more exciting. So that's why we do it that way. That's how we do. Okay, we need to find a boulder. I don't want to get too far out of the starter area because I'm not quite ready for Zombos to come in. Uh, so let's just do this. So we're going to do craft that. And um, let's craft... How many can we, let's do five of those. We're going to need more feathers and all that stuff too. But at least we have those weapons. Uh, we might as well, there's a chicken. Okay, Um. I don't know if we'll get enough stuff from him to make a bone knife. Let's see. I think we need five bones for a bone knife. Uh, recipe, bone knife. There we go. Okay, cool. Let's put the bone knife here. I'm going to put the club there temporarily. Um, we'll keep that there. Uh, I don't have any stones left, but I do want to keep the stones also on our toolbar. Uh, I guess that's it. I guess I butchered the whole thing. How much meat do we get out of that? Six? Okay. Unfortunately, the fun pimps still think it takes five pieces of raw meat to make one piece of cooked meat, which is absolutely utter bullshit. They didn't change that. Who knows why? I think they're just doing it to piss people off. It's nonsensical, but it's still the way it is. I will complain about a few things, but I want you guys to know that I absolutely love this game. It's my favorite game, or um, at least in my top, you know, two, three, four favorite games. Uh, but if I don't like something, I'm going to complain about it. And that's one thing I've never, ever understood about this game. Nobody's ever been able to justify it to me either. Some people have tried, but it's all bullshit. It's absolute bullshit. Okay, anyway, let's... uh. I need to find a boulder, so let's keep looking without hopefully getting too far away, because we need stones. We need stones, man. We'll keep hitting stumps for wood, and maybe we'll luck out get some honey, too. And, of course, we need to keep looking uh, into bird's nests. Oh, look at that. We got some honey. In fact, we have two things of honey. That's even better. What's better than one thing of honey? Two things of honey. Um, okay, so I don't think the Zombos will show up until, what, 11 o'clock in the morning as long as we stay in the spawn-in zone. But 
I am not seeing any boulders around here. We'll definitely keep picking up stones as we see them on the ground. Um, let's kind of go look over here where the terrain's a little bit... Starts getting a little rougher. Uh, is that a boulder there? Yeah. Okay, cool. Found a boulder. All right. Let's harvest this thing. Okay, so we have 71 stones. We're going to put those down on the toolbar. I don't think we need that. Um. So, now, can we craft a spear? Whoops, we have to spell it first. Uh correctly first. Okay, good. All right, the club, um, I think we're just going to scrap this because I don't want to use it. Everybody uses it. Well, not everybody, but a lot of people use club or at least have in the past. That's why I want to try something different. Okay, so we got the spear. Um, the spear now has a power attack. Um, it used to be that when you tried to use the power attack, which is the right mouse button, it would, um, you'd throw it, but they have removed that. Because most people didn't really like the fact that you threw it, because sometimes you would, <coughs> you'd either outright lose it, or you would, would at least throw the weapon, and then if you were in a spot where you couldn't immediately retrieve it, well, you didn't have your weapon anymore, kind of thing. So I want to do a test here. We're at 100% stamina. How many power attacks can we do before we run out of stamina? We can only do three before we can't get any more. Okay, so that's something we're going to have to keep in mind. However, power attacks have a, a knockdown effect. Ooh, look at that. Which is extremely useful. So we need to we need to use that judiciously. Okay, let's do this. Let's go ahead and uh, finish out this quest so we can do our points. And we might even actually go ahead and just loot this building now since we're here. Uh, no, we don't need 181 blocks. Let's make 21 so we have 20 to carry around and one for the quest. Okay, so they want us to set this down here. We've got some... I'm trying to find a spot that I want to use. Okay, yeah, let's set it right down here by the porch. Okay, and then it wants us to upgrade it. And now it wants us to do the campfire. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to actually jump up here. And I'm going to... I'm going to put the campfire down there for a moment. For the moment. Uh, good job, Survivor. You've proven to be capable with much potential. Go find the White River Outpost, blah, 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 blah. Same stuff that, that we've had for a long time. Okay, let's put that there. Um, I'm going to switch places with those two guys. And let's hunker down for a second and take a look at our points. We should have four points. Uh, yes, we do. Okay, so we're going to put the first point into Spear Master. Um, and that, of course, allows us to do more damage and use less stamina. So I'm wondering, we might be able to get off four power attacks now before we run out of stamina. Uh, let's see, what else do we want to do? Um... Let's take a look at this. If the spear is going to be our main weapon, that means we need to kind of stay focused on perception to level it because we're going to need perception level three to get it higher. I'm not going to take perception immediately, though. But it's going to be, you know, a, a skill that we're going to definitely, you know, stay focused on. We're going to go to agility and we're going to stealth perks, hidden strike or from the shadows. We're going to put a point in this because this is just going to really help us in the very early game. Uh, to to stay out of sight. I think I'm going to do something different that I don't usually do. I'm going to put a point into parkour, and we're going to focus on parkour because that's going to help us survive too by jumping up onto higher places. Uh, so that's not something I would normally do, but we're going to do it this time. All right, what else? We have one point left. We should probably maybe think about putting that into strength. Master Chef, this will give us 20% less of recipes made ingredients. Cook, ooh. So maybe if you spec into Master Chef, it removes the five pieces of meat, raw meat for one cooked meat bullshit, or at least reduces it. It seems to imply that. Okay, that's good to know, actually. That's good to know. Um, I just have to think about 
where I want to do this very last perk, though, because this is going to be really important. Combat perks. Intellect. Lock picking. Position would be nice, but it's not even available to us yet. Daring Adventure. This has changed. So Daring Adventure gives us better items and better uh, dukes from the trader. So they changed this from what it used to be. I'm going to keep my eye on that, but I still don't think that's going to be the first thing we're going to go after. Um, I think what we'll do is... Because I'd like to get to Impaler pretty quickly. I think we're actually going to put our last point into Perception straight up for that purpose. Okay. It has been decided. Very good. Now, what we're going to do is... We are going to... See if we can loot this house here. This is a, a one skull POI, which is a new change. You can see that in the upper right hand corner. Uh, but that doesn't mean it isn't dangerous, especially on our settings. It's still going to be dangerous as crap. Okay. I will be employing any and every non-cheating method that I can to survive this, by the way. Um, that If that means blocking doors, then that means blocking doors. So if you don't like that, then don't complain about it because I'm not going to listen to you. <laughs> That's just the way I play. Um, ooh, wow, we ran out of stamina just with normal attacks there. But I, I was able to hit them through the sill here. That's useful. There we go. Just have to make sure you're actually aiming through the broken window pane. Come on, dude. There we go. These guys take quite a bit of pounding on to to take down on insane we still haven't killed that bastard now the other thing i got to get used to is that oh shit we got three um the spear has a, a lot longer reach than you expect it to um so that means you know we don't have to get any closer than we have to get Good lord, this is taking a long time to kill. Okay. Let's get a little bit of stamina back here. sure we keep um, this stuff repaired because if they jump out of here we're in trouble. Come on stamina. I still can't believe this guy's alive. My goodness. Ooh, we got a hit there. Okay finally our first kill. Oh shit! Don't be crawling out of there. Not allowed. Not allowed. You son of a. Hey, we took his leg off though. You know what? He's actually not as big of a. Oh, threat! As he was before. Okay, let's come down here. But he's dead. Okay, let's come back over here. Did he get out of the window? Okay. Okay, you gotta actually hit with the aims, OG, if you want to be successful. Okay, good. Whew! Man, I'm a little bit concerned, you guys. That took a hell of a long time to kill those guys. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's get into here. Um... 
We'll pick that up and let's start doing some loot skiing. Okay, we'll wear these and scrap those. I want to be uh, fairly quiet here. Sandwich. We will be keeping old sham sandwiches for food, but we won't eat them unless we come across a vitamin. So I'm fairly confident that we've cleared the top floor here. I could be wrong about that, and if I am, we're probably dead. And that is mountain lions. Okay, not really going to help us a whole lot at this point. We will wear this, and we will scrap this. Any zombadoodles out here? Uh-uh, but we got a weapons pile. Okay, um... So we can pick these up. Let's do a little experiment here. We got one military fiber and th three iron from that. Okay. What if we pick it up and scrap it? We got a lot more iron, but we did not get a military fiber. How interesting. Okay. How interesting. I think that's just going to give us cloth. There's a purse or something in there. This is the room we came in through. There could be a Zeke in there. Okay, so let's break. Oh shit. Let's break these stairs so nothing comes at us from down below. Okay, so let's put that there and upgrade it and deal with that. Oh, really? Okay, hold on. Everything's breaking. Oh, look at that. We killed her in two hits. Okay, those were power attacks, though. Plus, they were direct headshots where I was having some trouble hitting the heads of the other ones. All right, maybe there's hope for us yet. I'm still a little concerned, though. <laughs> it took us so long to kill those first three Zeeks. I mean, longer than I was expecting them to. All right. Anything in all in here? Ah, uh, yes. Toilet water. Oh, well, okay. Not toilet water, but corn anyway. That's good. Um. Okay, so let's look in... Here, let's loot this. Let's look in here. Uh, that door is locked. Can we make a hatch? Yeah, actually, here, let's do that for a minute so we can all see better, including me. I don't think there's any Zeeks in here, but we're not at the point where we can take any chances. We gotta play this as safely as possible if we're gonna try. Oh shit! Scared the hell out of me! here. I think we're further ahead to just use power attacks when, you know, yeah, see, we killed him in what, three hits, three good solid hits, as opposed to trying to use the smaller attacks. Okay. Dollar dollar bills, y'all. That's just a... That doesn't do anything. Okay, let's see what's in the shoddy messiah crate. Machine gunner, nice. And a Molotov. Okay, that'll come in handy. Um, 
All right, so I think we're finished with the upper floor here. What time is it? It's about 1.30 in the afternoon, and we are 1.3 clicks away from the trader. That's kind of a long ways away. So let's go ahead and carefully start working our way down here. Just trying to see if there's any Zeeks around that we can get a sneaky sneak off on. Can't really tell from here. Okay, let's put a block there just to temporarily block stuff. And we'll put that there as our light source. Because I can't see what's behind these blocks here. I want to say there aren't any Zombos down on this floor here but there's still a basement too okay let's do this let's block that this needs to be repaired again we are now thirsty and you know we could stand to eat too plus that frees up a slot Can we turn these into cloth? Okay. Then did we need two or four cloth for the bandana? We need uh, we need one more. Okay, so one more piece of cloth, and we could even go back up and take that couch apart. All right, I'm pretty sure we're okay on this first floor here. Let's repair this. Oh, nice. Cooking drill. That'll come in handy. Um, they oh, Another one. <laughs> they made it so that uh, when you open up a stove, then it stays open, but they didn't do the same thing with the cabinets. So why they didn't do that with the cabinets, I don't know. It's a good idea, but it just... You should have also done that with the cabinets. Some cornmeal. Okay. I'll take a meal and a purse. Nice. And some food, though food that is going to make us thirsty. Come on, coffee. Well, I meant actual made coffee, but okay, we'll take that too. It's a trash thingy here. Sorry about being dark, you guys. Um, here, let's harvest this for another piece of cloth so we can make that bandana. It'll just give us an absolutely tiny, minute little bit more protection. Not enough to write home to mother about, but... Um, well, it, it, it actually gives us temperature protection, not physical, but that helps too, I suppose. Okay. Let's repair this door. Oh, it's actually adding iron to it. All right, we got a Steve Zombo out there. Shot him in the ass. Come at me, bruh. Dude. What are you doing? Uh, he's derping. Okay, well, here, let's harvest this wood. Because he's probably going to start hitting on the wall and he'll make a nice little hole for us to poke him in the eye. If he doesn't come to the door. Oh, we have two Zeeks now. Wonderful. But it's safe, man. Let's 
Someone's banging on something over there. I wonder if he's stuck and can't get up the porch. Let's make a hole right here. We are encumbered now, too. Oh, you know, oh, 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 shit. Uh, not good. Oh, wow, we killed her. <laughs> I forgot about the downstairs. <laughs> okay. Nice. Here, we better also patch that up too, because he could have potentially jumped over that. Okay, let's deal with you. Did we kill you? No. There we go. All right, you know, power attacks to the head are pretty damned effective. Even on insane here. Uh, the knockdown is just, you know, that's going to save our life at some point. I like it. Okay. I like it. My faith is starting to be restored because I was a little bit worried there right at first with those first bunch of Zeeks we just did. Um, okay, so let's see here. Uh, we're going to grab this. Let's also take this now just because... We should. We'll scrap these. Um, I'm I'm not gonna hang on to rotting flesh right now. I'm not gonna hang on to chrysanthemum right now. I'm not gonna hang on to those because we have to be ju judicious about our encumbrance here. Um, one bone isn't doing us any good. Honestly, coffee. Well, I hate to throw food away. If we get enough of these, we could sell them, but. We're probably not going to find any more of that anytime soon. So let's get rid of those two. Absolutely got to hang on to the plastic because uh, we need that for the water dew collector thing. Um, and then let's make, we, we want to always have even just basic bandages on us for, to, you know, to stop bleeding. Okay. I'm hanging on to some of this other stuff because we could sell it. So let's grab our torch. Uh, where is our torch? Oh, it's right here. Okay, so we're done uh, on this main floor and we're done on the upper floor. Now we need to... We need to deal with this. So, um, here, let's put this back up again so we can see what we're doing. We're going to have to remove these and then slowly creep downstairs. Now, we may have lucked out because we attracted two Zekers from down there and that may be the only Zekers that are left. Let's hope that's the case. So we can completely... Finish looting this. Oh, look at that. I like the new brake textures on the block. That's new as well. Okay. Let's grab this. There's any Salma Doodles in this first room. Let's put that right there. Got a little trash thingy. Uh, all right, 20% greater chance of knocking down the target. I'll take it. Um, we can't loot boxes in normal seven days to die. You can in Undead Legacy. So I was actually going to say, hey, I'm going to loot that. Then it's like, nope, you can't loot that. Maybe we'll get some good clothes here. Okay, this is good. This All this stuff's good, actually. Um, is this... This is a little bit better than what we're currently wearing in terms of temperature resistance. So let's take this. We could sell that, but I think we're just, we're just going to scrap it for the cloth instead. Now that we have a few more pieces of cloth, let's make a couple more bandages. 
Um, I definitely want to be looking at, you know, looting cobblestone and that sort of thing, but I don't think... Yeah, we're, st we're going to start to have food and water problems here pretty soon. I'll tell you what, we're going to eat this. I know it's going to make us thirsty, and we're going to eat this. And then we're going to take our last water, and there you go. Come what may, right? Um, okay, let's repair this door first. Oh, it's locked. Oh, shit. Okay, well, then I guess that means they want us to go around this way. Uh, we should be able to get plastic from this. Plastic is super important. Um, do we get plastic from this, actually? Oh, we do. Okay. We do. We get plastic and paper. All right. Well, let's let's loot these then because we need that stuff. Okay. I can't put a Let's do that. I believe we get plastic from tires as well. Yes, we do. Okay. Any zombadoodles in here? Right there. But let's grab our torch here. Grab this for the the plastic primarily some nails and stuff okay I'm gonna say uh, there's no more zombos left if there were we would have known it by now fantastic okay so we got to the fat loots Look at that. All right. So improves food crafting skill. So the way this works is I read this magazine, I get one point in food crafting. Once I get to, say, like food crafting five, then it starts to open up different things. In fact, this might, yeah, that already opened up grilled corn and baked potato for us. Great. Uh, armored up improves armor crafting skill. Okay. Improves robotic, uh, robotic crafting skill and shotgun crafting. Yes. You guys know I love me the shotgun. Two things of paper there. Uh, don't care about that. And, of course, we're not going to be able to get into that gun safe. Let's open, loot this. Mining. Um, harvest 10% more ore. Win buzz from coffee. Okay. Oh, nice. we got a couple bandages, too. I'm going to hold off on wearing any heavy armor until we have a full set of heavy armor. So let's switch those out. Three nails is not going to do diddly squat, so let's scrap those. Uh, can we eat this straight up? We can, but it screws up our water some more. We can get clay very easily when the time comes, so I'm going to toss that out. And we could turn these feathers into more arrows to uh, also give us another slot. Okay, you guys. Well, I think we have done reasonably well for our very first episode here in Alpha 21. Um, and it is 5 o'clock in the afternoon, and we have 1.3 clicks to get to the trader. So I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to stay in this house and just kind of loot stuff as best as I can. 
and then uh, and we'll put the bedroll down too. Let's put that down upstairs. And then tomorrow, in-game day, day tomorrow. Uh, wait, what? There. Uh, we will set out again, and we will see if we can make our way to the trader. So that is the plan. Um, I will keep the record button ready in case something crazy happens between now and then and show that craziness to you guys uh, in the next episode. Hopefully nothing crazy will happen, but I know you guys. You hope something crazy will happen, but not me. No sir, Bob. You know what? I think we're just going to set this down right here. Um, are we? Wait. We can't set it there. All right, we'll just put it... Right there. Okay, so now we have a spawn point in the relatively safe upstairs. Okay, guys, that is it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.